Good morning, Virginia. We are at Blue Ridge Rock Fest. Rock on! Bitches! Today is Friday. I keep thinking today is Saturday. Jordan is playing with Emo Night Brooklyn tonight, DJing the after party. Like once the headliners are done, Jordan is going on. Also with our friend Dan is here. So it's gonna be two DJs tonight. Instead of just Jordy on stage, cause it is a festival, it's a little more like, Everything is going on, but I'm gonna bring you guys around today and we're gonna hang out right now We're behind the stage. We're the only people in this stage area right now because this stage doesn't start until like after headliners so everything else is it's far here everything is like a very great distance and you guys will learn that today in this vlog we actually came here yesterday to scope out the fest first before like we we drove in early overnight we left at like one in the morning from the city and then we drove down here our hotel's actually in north carolina and this festival is in virginia so we're on like the bottom border and not too far from durham which is i a long vlog ago we went there together i actually really liked the Raleigh Durham vlog even though it was such a interesting chaotic day it was really lovely so you could click up here to watch it probably didn't have to be here so early it's 12 50 actually this is a fine time first band I want to see today is under oath and they start at 5 20 we are parallel to catering so I think me and Jordan are just gonna go eat lunch right now we didn't eat breakfast I woke up a little too late for the breakfast at the hotel uh, I had two granola bars thus far oh I forgot I'm making a what I eat in a day on tour vlog for TikTok and I forgot to show my second granola bar. Let's go eat lunch. So we just ate. Well, Jordan's eating ice cream, but I just ate real food, as did he. I'm like triple dipping today. I'm trying to like figure the shit out. I'm like, all right, yesterday I was so fucking tired. I couldn't even like speak. I, I wasn't even speaking. I was speaking gibberish all day yesterday. So today at least I'm gonna try to like catch up on lost work time of <laughs> talking to you guys. I'm gonna get probably dessert and then it's almost two o'clock. I guess we'll figure it out for the next little bit, but I have some working stuff to do and so does Jordan. So we need to try to find Wi-Fi, we'll figure it out. I guess. As for now, I'm gonna drink my water that looks like beer, but I will bring you guys around today. But I, I am also making like shorter TikTok things that if you wanna like listen to the bands and stuff, I might be posting some. All right, y'all. Little old me knew there was a green room, but I was sitting in like the tent green room next door and now I'm in like the air conditioned one. I've been like working on my phone for the last little while, which was nice after eating because like I really needed to catch up on stuff. Like just because I'm at this festival doesn't mean like I still don't have like things to post, stuff to upload. Like when I'm at these things, obviously I'm having fun at them, but I also, that's like my prerogative as a content creator is to show you guys what the hell is up and like the other things of like what goes on and what's like the background stuff like I love filming like all like the random behind the scenes shit and like that makes me so excited to do so I just finished doing that but now I'm editing a picture I just made Jordan take pictures of me actually where you guys are sitting on before the day gets like gross and sweaty because yesterday I forgot to take pictures and I felt like cute and fun and like I was just like free spirited yesterday because I knew we had like not a job to do so <laughs> I, I just forgot to take pics which is fine like pictures like kind of don't even matter in that sense but I like to like I like harboring memories so that's why I like to film so much I'm just editing the pictures that he took and then I'm gonna post them and then there's like a few TikToks Jordan and I wanted to film I don't know if he remembers but we're gonna figure it out He's somewhere trying to figure something out. I also don't know if I told you guys, tonight, Jordan and Dan, aka Emo Night, is doing a set, and then, but they have a three hour set like usual, but also 303 is playing on the same stage. So like Jordan and Dan are playing from 11 to one, and then 303 is coming on at one. So should be cool, beans. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Camper, 
years. <laughs> I don't think that I've spoken to you guys in a while, like I actually chatted because we're at, we went to see a few bands. We went to see Dayseeker and then actually their first 30 seconds of the song, the first song in, their computer overheated. So their backtracks, poof. So they spent like a while trying to figure out their computer and like trying to get it back on. I don't know why they didn't just put it in rice. <laughs> they ended up playing acoustic. So the band walked off stage and just the vocalist did acoustic, which like really sucked. And they only had like 12 minutes left of their set, but we stuck around for them. So that was pretty cool. And then immediately after that, we went to go see Under Oath. We had to walk, which it was kind of like a little bit far, but I didn't really mind walking because we didn't really go around the festival today at all. Me and Jordan, like had work to do it's friday so we were just kind of like catching up before the weekend like totally like tomorrow we're gonna have a fun free day of like not thinking but and i might continue this vlog into tomorrow because it's i don't know it seems like i i feel like i vlogged but i feel like i didn't under Oath was amazing they're always so good and like just like ah they're, they're so good <laughs> We hopped in a car, we went to catering, we ate dinner. They sold merch today at the actual festival. They have like event merch tent happening. So they sold our merch there. But also tonight we're playing like the after party. So we needed a merch person and um, no merch person. Not that they didn't want to do it, but they've been like kind of prior or whatever doing things. So I'm selling merch tonight. Good thing I'm here. I guess good thing that I came. So I'll probably make a TikTok vlog on how much tips that I make in merch tonight. I am i don't know what I'm expecting for how many people are gonna be here. There could be like a hell of a lot and there could be like not as much. It's hard to tell because festival grounds are like ginormous. 303 is here and they're playing after emo night. So it should be really fun and they're really cool. We were just talking to them for a while. So that was nice to get acquainted with them. This is my portable charger and this is my wire. I think oh no this jordan's wire it's cracked i'm gonna plug it in now and i thought that i would need this later it's even chart how do you even freaking does this like go on like how does this work oh there we go that's charging okay cool we're also gonna see insane clown posse um they're sound checking and then we're gonna go see them with the guy who like runs all the artist things um we've been talking about it for so long he's like all right we're getting a cart it's gonna come and it's gonna pick us up and we're all gonna go see icp together so i'm so excited i don't know i don't think i know any songs by them but they have like a crazy insane stage presence and vibes so i'm so excited oh my god i actually think that i just realized like we're gonna go see icp and that's like insane to me guys today is taking an interesting turn by the way you want to see it i'm the only one in here right now so let's all right i'm making up in this vlog by talking my fucking ass off right now i'm sorry i didn't show you the festival but um it's like there's no service anywhere so it's hard guys to whip out my camera and it's really hot here's a green room it's we're obviously at a festival so i'm i can't believe there's even a green room i didn't think that there would be we're in like a like a metal like tin thing i guess that's like wires and stuff but we got some like ice bucket snackies and things and um i think dan took the hummus or someone took the hummus but there's pretzels and stuff and then there's like a tent next door which you hear the bass what's going on there's also you guys saw me this morning in the tent next door which was also the green room situation and like it's just outside instead of inside so let's go see them soundtrack and let's go see icp i have to set up merch at some point hopefully jordan and dan could just help me set it up and it'll be nice and easy all right, I lied to you because when I put my camera down, they were done sound checking. We jumped in a cart with 303 so fucking quick to go see ICP because we did not want to miss them. And da 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 da. All right, guys, the show started. I'm doing merch. I may or may not get copyrighted. It's mad dark by merch, but there's a shit ton of people waiting in line at the bar right next to me. Look. Look at the line, look at the line. And then Jordan, oh my God, this kind of sucks that I can't like watch and like whatever, but I'll deal with it. On stage, definitely not a Jordan set list at the moment. And I'm hoping, um, I know you know, these guys. You know Jordan doesn't feel awkward because he's, he plays like follow leader sometimes. And I, I he hasn't like DJed with another person in like a really long time so sure he's you know but whatever we're gonna see 303 and everything it's gonna be fun 
Jordan and Dan. Oh my God, I was screaming. Just got off stage, 303 is on now, and then they're gonna go back on. They've been on, I guess, for like two and a half hours or whatever. No one's bought a singular thing of merch. And also the last band after party thing to do something here, they didn't really sell much either. And they were like a huge band. So I think it's just too late for people to start buying merch anymore, which makes sense. But we sold merch during the day at the tent, so we'll see. I kind of just like left merch which obviously it's my job to guard merch, but everyone's watching 303 now. No one is buying merch from me right now. Um, like I know this for a fact. <laughs> and um, I was talking to security, I was talking to people. There's this guy that I ran into and his rings were so cool. He was wearing like the craziest, most cool rings. And I was like, bro, those are sick. It's like, wow, oh my God, thank you. They're actually sold here, like there's a tent. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna find that tent tomorrow. I was talking to him and he ended up, he's the guy who put all the fencing and all the barricades up for this whole festival. And I was like, whoa, that's so sick. So that was really cool. And then all, I, my hair is covering my badge a little bit. So when I ran through to come like say hi to Jord, um, cause he got off stage, I was like, let me go say hi and like see if he's good and stuff. <laughs> so security like kind of chased me and was like, yo, yo, you have a pass? And I was like, oh yeah, right here. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Cause I was talking to like the guy who runs all artist relations. He's like, oh my God, you were just like so slick past me. I was like, I'm a slick girl. Anyway, Jordan ended with Drown by Bring Me The Horizon. So that was fucking sick. So I was like, you know what? No one's coming to merch right now. Ollie Sykes is on, AKA Jordan Lee Corman. So I fucking beelined and I was shoveling people and I ran to Barricade and I was like screaming. I actually took a video of it and it was quite fun. I wish Jordan saw me. You, could, you can't see anything from this stage. It's pitch black out. You can't see anything. But um, obviously I'm riled up from that. So that was really, really fun. Um, show's going interesting. Like I said, back over there, I think it's like hard to blend two different DJs who are into two different genres, but I'm. this should be fun watching 303 and they're gonna bring like the party into the mix. So I guess when they come back, they'll hit like just solid bangers for the rest of the night. Um, I wanted Jordan to play of Mice and Men and he really wanted to play of Mice and Men. But playing Bring Me was like, I guess good enough, especially cause it was like a different song and not just like songs that I guess like everyone kind of plays. Even though we were dying for sleepwalking, but Drown just picks up real quick and you kind of need at the festival to like pick up quick. I'm gonna leave my shit in here, I don't need this. I'm gonna take my water. Let's go find Jordan again. I wish that I didn't have to like do merch because it ended up not doing merch anyway. I don't even know if I'm gonna get paid now because I didn't sell a single thing. But we'll see. Let's go see 303. It's the next day. We woke up like really late today. We woke up at noon. Got dressed. I'm dressed. This is my outfit for today. I'm really into it. It's kind of the same thing as yesterday in a different font. But look at this shirt. How sick. Jordan thrifted this like last week. So I kind of hijacked it from him. But we're going to go to the show soon. We just walked across the street and ordered Cracker Barrel. Um, the boys are picking it up and I'm going to go to the bathroom, kind of organize my stuff a little bit so I could bring like my festival stuff to the festival. We're gonna skedaddle out of here. The first band we wanna see goes on at 3.45. Right now it's two. It does take about 50 minutes to get there. So I think we'll make it in like fine timing. Everyone's sets kind of keep getting pushed back and back too throughout the uh, weekend I've noticed. Probably because it's like festival, everything's kind of like far from each other and like people, some people are having like technical difficulties. A bunch of friends playing today and like gonna be on stage and like production and whatever. So I'm excited to hang out with people and like catch a vibe. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep vlogging so, so much today, but I'm gonna try my best. But I am going to be TikTok vlogging just cause my phone could be like easy in my pocket. We made it to the festival. I'm not tired, but a little groggy. My brain feels like it needs to be rolled out with a rolling pin, but I'll be okay. We just saw one band and now I think we're gonna go check on merch or something. I really wish we could have stopped and got like a coffee or something, but I do have Kool-Aid and a Starburst. I'm good on food, bro. So I, I guess it'll so do.
All right, so I'm not gonna lie, it started downpouring, so there was absolutely no way I could lug my camera around, but that you see right there, that little blob of black clothing and a windbreaker from the pouring rain on stage is Jordan. He ended up on stage with Ice Nine Kills because our friends are in the production and for some reason something was going horribly technical difficulty. So Jordan needed to kind of like jump in and fill in. Then we went to go see Motionless and Whites. So there's Chris Motionless. And as their set was playing, it was absolutely pouring. So we had to run to catering, go eat, and then run back just in time for Pierce the Veil. So Pierce the Veil is right here in these clips right now. I can't believe I was like a hundred feet away from Vic Fuentes and like screaming like oh, no tomorrow it was it was so cool and I'm so grateful that I was able to kind of do that so then after that Jordan and I walked through the festival and we actually passed the to write love on her arms booth and we had like a really nice lovely conversation with the people that ran that booth and then we made our way over to Tenacious D for Jack Black which was so insane and so cool I didn't even realize that they were playing so we had such a fun time and then we made our way over to Slipknot um we actually actually found a ride through the mud because we actually couldn't like walk through the mud anymore uh, and it was a kind of crazy experience but I'm really happy that I got to watch Slipknot I don't really know much anything about them I'm I'm not like that metal I'm into metal core um, but I'm not into like metal so it was just a cool time dude and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know it was a little like wishy-washy and crazy and like chaotic a bit but i'm happy that you stuck around and if you did please subscribe and if you want to check out the tiktok vlogs of course those are also just as chaotic but you get to see the little nitty gritty of the day too so i'll see you guys in my next video bye